Hello, this is Annalisa from Faith Dream Create, and welcome back to my 2019 Christmas card series. So for today's card, I'll be using a few different products, the first one being this snow globe die set from Lawn Fun, and this is called Ready, Set, Snow Shaker Add-on. And for the stamp set that I will be using, it is also from Lawn Fun, and it is called Plain and Simple. And those are the snow globe pieces cut out, and I'll also be using these Distress Crayons from Tim Holtz. And this is the first time that I have personally used these. I was sent these by Scrapbook.com to share with you and to create with, and these are the freebie today for Cyber Monday. So it was just Black Friday over the weekend. And now it is Cyber Monday, so if you would like to get this set for free and try out these markers, or maybe you need a new set, or you've never used them before and you're curious, now is the time to go grab them at scrapbook.com. I will leave a link down below in the description box below to this set that you can pick up for free and maybe purchase some more goodies as well. So yeah, I'd never used these before, so I was just experimenting with them and I've watched several videos about them when I was sent them and I've heard about them before. So it's just like a crayon, but somewhat of a different texture as well. And they just blend well together and they do react to water. They do not react to water in the same way that like, distress oxides or distress inks do, but you can water paint with them and everything and do different techniques and you're going to see that right here. So I just stamped out the plane and the banner with some Memento Tuxedo Black Ink and then took those markers there, or the distress crayons, and did a little bit on my glass mat and sprayed them with water and now I'm just watercoloring with them. And that is very similar to watercoloring with the Distress Oxides or the Distress Inks. It just gives it a different texture though. It's like a chalkier crayon effect that you would get maybe with like crayons, but crayons don't really react with water, so as well as this. This is definitely an interesting medium and you can do a lot of different things with them and I tried out several different techniques in this video and was honestly just experimenting because as I said I have not used them before and so here I am just coloring up the little snow globe pieces and I did not make this into a shaker card the snow globe whole idea is make a shaker card but I kept things simple today and was just experimenting with the blending and the crayons and it was a lot of fun. So I'm kind of going for a camouflage effect here with my blending. Because I only have this one set, my colors were kind of limited, but it worked out and I definitely think I want to experiment with these a little bit more, maybe get some more colors. They're definitely interesting. All the different products out there have just so many unique things they can do and you get different results with all the different crayons and markers and inks. So once I had colored this part of the snow globe, the top, I just used some foam tape to pop this up onto the background piece of the snow globe that I had done a little bit before which you already saw. And then I will go ahead and adhere those together. And I had cut down the airplane and the banner off camera and then I will go ahead and assemble a little scene here in a second.
after it's all popped up on foam tape, giving this card a little bit of dimension. Just pop that on there. And bring in the airplane and add some background. Blend in the background so that that white area is not visible before I pop it up here with foam tape. If only you could make a card this fast. This is super sped up because cards are very time consuming but worth it. But if only we could make a card this fast, we'd probably get a lot more done. So I'm going to pop up the airplane here on the snow globe. What I really love about how this card turned out, you're going to see as it as I continue to make it, but it's very masculine and with the camouflage and the reds and very masculine. So there is my scene popped up and then I decided to go in with the Distress Oxide, the Distress Crayons. I want to say Oxide, Distress Oxide because I use those so much. Um, but I went in with the Distress Crayons and just was experimenting a little bit more with them on the card base and I took the two different red tones and I believe it's Fired Brick and I can't remember the other one but I will have them linked down below and yeah I just blended these two colors together to create my background and the colors are the exact same as the Distress Inks and Tim Holtz line of colors. So then I'm just using this Lawn Fawn set for the sentiment. This is the Cherry, Cheery and Bright stamp set. And I stamped that out. And then I am adhering the snow globe to the card base. And then adhering the sentiment that I stamped out to the card base. And I had stamped that. And then I grabbed out the black Wink of Stella pen to write something here on the snow globe, and I end up writing Santa Airlines. This reminds me of like the movie Arthur's Christmas, where they have an airplane instead of a sleigh. And there's a lot of movies kind of playing around with these different ideas. It's like, as I was making this card, I was like, how, what can I do with this? And so I Went with that and then I just wrote hello on the banner and then grabbed out some Nuvo drops to add a finishing touch to the card and this is the autumn red Nuvo drops and then I go ahead and grab another color of Nuvo drops just to add a little bit more color and this is the oyster gray I really like Nouveau Drops. I feel like I need to pick up a few more colors. I just love the finishing effect that they can create and the dimension that they bring as well. And then to just add a little bit of pop to the snow globe itself, I grabbed the Morning Dew Nouveau Drops and just added a few around there and there is the finished card thank you so much for watching if you like this video give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and definitely check out the links down below to scrapbook.com to get this as a freebie today for cyber monday bye for